Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. Welcome to Spartan Times. My name is Colton, and I'll be your host for this week. Starting off this week, we have a story in our new marketing program um, with information provided by Miss Romo. Let's check it out and see what it has to offer. Hello, Spartans. My name is Sandy Marie Romo. I'm one of the teachers here at Pebble Hills High School. I'm looking to recruit a couple of freshman and sophomore students for the upcoming school year. Next year, we'll be introducing our first ever marketing cohort. Have you been interested in a career in fashion, entertainment, or perhaps you'll be interested in a career as a next influencer? All of these have ties to marketing. Find out why people buy the products that they buy and how trends get started. But more importantly, how do we profit off these trends? Learning how the mind works is a powerful thing. That's why we're also offering an AP psychology class next year. What makes us do the things that we do, think the things that we think, and buy into the ways of the world? Join me in discovering the secrets of the mind and how to manipulate our courses of thought. I have two students here that will provide you with more insight into each of these electives. Okay, in Ms. Romo's AP Psychology class, you guys will be learning about the human mind and how it works, and as well as human behaviors. And if you guys are interested in that type of thing, then you should join Ms. Romo's AP Psychology class. If you're not interested in AP Psychology, we also have marketing. This class will help you learn how to make money, equity. The difference between the other class and Ms. Romo's class is that you'll be more hands-on and do projects, get to know your classmates more, instead of kind of just looking at a board and writing notes. And as a student, that's not something I really look forward to to come to school to. I want to actually get in there and learn, actually learn how to make money, actually gain some experience on our hands. And in Ms. Romo's class, you'll actually be able to do that. And you'll have fun while you're doing it. So if you want to come and join, go to room J216 and sign up. Okay Spartan, so if you're interested in either signing up for marketing or AP Psychology, please stop by room J216 and sign up today. Hope to see you soon. Have a good day. Now, that sounds like a class definitely worth checking out. Up next, we have a couple of spotlights on some local businesses. Let's see what's new on the block. Hi, my name is Joshua Mena, and I'm the founder of El Paso Free Dry Food Company. I'm a local food scientist and social entrepreneur, and I started this business to one day apply everything that I've learned so far, to apply the, the things that I've learned from the business so that I, I could go back out to the world and do like humanitarian projects in developing countries. I got so. the idea for this um, from reading different economic journals. So I like to read different articles, I like to read different types of uh, academic literature and freeze drying is something that's new, it's trendy, it's sciencey, but it's never been done before here in El Paso. And so I decided to do something that's fun, it's unique, and it's something that I studied because I studied nutrition and, and food science. So it's something that I I have some knowledge in um, and that's what that's how I decided to do freeze drying. We we'll already like to eat. We make different um, like candies, ice cream, snacks like that but with a fun twist. So we add a different layer of science and make it more flavorful, more delicious, more unique. And what makes our party unique is that we're actually the first and only company to do this freeze drying operation here in El Paso. And we do different things that no other company is making right now. So we do different types of like, we use food science, but we add the like the Mexican Tex-Mex kind of flair. So we do different types of like chamoy, different chiles, different like fruits that people in El Paso are used to, but we add that new science to it. Hi. My name is Marco. I'm the founder of Clever Tea. Uh, Clever Tea is a naturally functional tea company. Um, the way we got started is I wanted a more natural solution that would help you function a little better. So I made my first blend and it's made for focus. And it, all, it does it all naturally. Then it evolved into other products and now I'm uh, looking to do beverages and in the future perhaps snacks just so they complement each other and we get the most out of the food we eat. Uh, I was working in Odessa uh, in the oil fields and it was a high pressure environment. I was working 12 hour shifts uh, 10 days straight so 
so I wanted something that would give me like an edge. Um, I went to the store, I couldn't find any natural solutions I liked, so I decided to make my own. How did I get the idea? Um, I felt that teas are, it's an untapped market that is exponential because you can combine a whole different types of things and get different types of effects. Um, so that's why I picked tea over something else. Okay, so Clever's purpose is to for people to live a more inventive, inventive, unconstrained life. Um, so products that will enhance your life in some way. Either they'll help you sleep, or they'll help you uh, focus, or they'll give you energy. That it's all natural, because uh, there's really no need to use uh, dangerous chemicals or uh, other products to accomplish it when. Nature can do it all for us. Uh, so Clever is, Clever products are sugar free, they are not bitter, and they are made with polyphenols in mind. So a polyphenol is a powerful antioxidant that is able to cancel out a free radical. Uh, just like metal, people rust as well. Uh, we just don't see it because it's all internal. And polyphenols help us help the body prevent that so we can, in the future, not have as many ailments, say like uh, cancer, Alzheimer's, anything that has to do with degradation of our cells, polyphenols help you not get there. I'll definitely be checking those places out as soon as I can. Ever wonder what it's like to be an early college student? Well, Isaiah's got some insight on that for us. Anyways, that's all the time we have for this week, everybody. My name's Colton, but you can call me Cobster, and we'll see you guys next week. Prodigies. We've all heard of the envy little super geniuses who dominated the academic competition since adolescence, right? But have you ever considered what it would look like if you yourself tried to take on such a challenge? And the early college program is for you. But what would that look like? What does a day in the life of such hardworking students look like? That's exactly what we're here to find out today. Let's take a closer look. I'm currently standing in front of the main early college hallway a place swarming with incredible intellectual potential, unlike myself. But if we're to understand how these kids operate, we need to understand what early college is to begin with. Follow me and we'll ask some of the teachers. What is the early college program in your own words? So an early college program historically has been a program where it's a lottery system and the goal is to take students that might be like middle of the road, may struggle sometimes, but it's to promote them and promote college readiness and college enrollment because the uh, ideology is that, hey, if a student is ready to take a dual credit course in high school, they're much more likely to be successful when they get to college. I think the early college program is an opportunity for students to get ahead in college, get free tuition. I think it's an opportunity for um, students to take advantage of because free college at any point in time is always good. Do you think a day in the life of an early college student is overwhelming at times? I do, like personally I do, because in a usual college semester, you'll take for a full course load four courses, but for an early college student, 
they're taking five or six dual credit courses at the same time. And then they're also juggling extracurriculars and they're juggling, you know, their homework for other classes that are non-dual credit. So I think it's actually much more intensive than it would be when they actually get to the college level. I am completely sure a day in the life of um, early college students are overwhelming. You guys are taking on workloads that adults take on, including your high school programs. Um, but I think you guys do a really amazing job of figuring it out and you have the support. But alas, there's only so much we can learn from a teacher's perspective about a student. The only one that can really tell us what it's like to be a student is, well, a student. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm here with the early college valedictorian. How are you feeling today, Gabriel? Hello, I like money. With the early college president himself. I'm here with Natalie Sedano. How are you feeling today, Natalie? Tired. <laughs> How do you start your mornings in early college? Um, every day I wake up and I go and participate in band, which takes up most of my morning. And early college mornings aren't really, they're not really too different from a normal morning. You kind of just wake up, get ready, be prepared for you know, a long day ahead. I start with a productive day. I study in the morning and then I just get in with my avid procedures and I organize my binder. Um, I start my mornings, I go to the gym before school, and then I just take the bus to school. Uh, I don't have any extracurriculars in the morning for the college or anything. Sometimes I have meetings in the morning uh, for the student council. But other than that, my normals are just normal like any other. What are some challenges you face in early college, and does it overwhelm you at times? Uh, it's not really the challenge of early college. It's more of a collaboration between band and early college. Um, there's many assignments that can challenge you in early college um, and it's all deadlines I guess and overcoming those deadlines and you know crunch time it all comes from being just a responsible person and getting your work done on time and being focused. Um, some things that overwhelm me is the amount of work that I sometimes get from other classes because it's just very very I'm very I'm, I'm a perfectionist. So yeah, it's just me pressuring myself. Uh, my biggest challenge with early college is getting a lot of work at once and a lot of the material being difficult. Um, but you need to use your classmates, your uh, teachers, and all the resources you're given to help uh, when it gets challenging. What are the teachers like? What kind of atmosphere do they bring to the classroom? The teachers, the teachers are great. I love the teachers. Each one of my teachers is great. They bring a positive attitude and a vibe to the overall classroom setting, and I'm very grateful for each of them. The teachers are incredible. Uh, the, one of my favorite parts of early college. They're all very nice. They're always helping, uh, and they understand what we're going through, and they're always trying to help us out. Uh, and I couldn't be more thankful for that. It's really relaxing, actually. It's not. I feel natural and um, free, I guess, in a way. But I'm, I'm good in the atmosphere. Well, this marks the conclusion of our journey, and as we found out, early college kids really aren't that much different from us, proving that with enough focus and determination, our wildest dreams are possible. We'll see you next time.